psychological disorder is a prolonged or recurring problem that causes significant distress or interferes with a person's ability to function adequately as a member of a community. They're often characterized by maladaptive or problematic thoughts, behaviors, or feelings that cause distress or disability. And although many psychological disorders have clear physical causes, just like diseases such as diabetes or heart disease, psychological disorders still carry more stigma than other medical problems. But drawing a line between normal and abnormal thoughts and feelings can be difficult. People often experience intense negative emotions or have periods of sadness or worry. Having strong feelings in response to difficult life events, such as a death or divorce, are entirely normal. So how can we differentiate between the two? Early ideas about mental illness blamed everything from demonic possession to moral deficits. From the 16th century, people with mental illness were confined in asylums, institutions for people with mental disorders, along with other undesirables. There are many patients that were subjected to cruel treatments such as painful restraints, ice baths, and lobotomies, surgeries intending to control behavior by destroying the prefrontal cortex of the brain. These treatments unfortunately continued far into the 20th century. The problem of defining abnormality is made harder by the fact that this is strongly influenced by times and cultural norms. What might be an abnormal behavior in one time or place is normal in another. For example, in the 1950s, Americans considered tattooed women deviant and not respectable. These days, having a tattoo is perfectly unremarkable. Though I do love the idea that my tiny Harry Potter tattoo would label me a deviant. Thankfully, views of and treatment for people with mental illness have greatly improved. But not all people who need treatment are able to access it. Shame and the inaccurate belief that mental disorders reflect personal weakness can prevent people from seeking treatment. Others who want it are not in a position to receive it. About a quarter of people experiencing homelessness have a serious mental illness. These days, abnormality is carefully defined by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM. This manual, which is currently in its fifth edition, is commonly used in the United States to classify and diagnose psychological disorders. This manual describes symptoms for each disorder and details the number of symptoms and the duration of symptoms required for each diagnosis. This allows a clinician to make a clinical diagnosis, observing symptoms and matching them to a particular illness, just as you would with physical disorders like diabetes or the flu. The manual includes information for about 150 disorders, including information about potential causes and the disorder's prevalence, the rate of occurrence within a population. The DSM has created a shared language among clinicians, but it still has some flaws. For example, the DSM is embedded in culture and values of Western cultures like the United States and Europe. And because of this, it may not be generalizable to the world's population. And while it's beneficial to clinicians that the DSM classification system draws a clear line for the definition of disorders, this doesn't always reflect the realities of mental illness. It is pretty clear when someone has a broken bone, but since psychological disorders involve thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, they do not naturally have such clear distinctions. Many clinicians and researchers think it makes more sense to view distress and disordered behavior along a continuum of severity, rather than simply a disordered, not disordered distinction.